Well, hello, good evening, everyone. We have reached the pivotal point of the competition. The field is down to 16. We are therefore in exclusive company. Group tables are behind us. We have reached the cutthroat stage of the competition. Knockout football of the highest order, and it is live here. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. Doubt very much that this was in the script. Pasquale. Hit long and direct. Has a swing at it. He scores! An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. Barcelona grab the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Could be thinking about a shot here. Foden gets it away. Shapes the shoots. Goal! Barcelona! And the comeback is complete. Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. So we have a breakthrough. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Oh, very well to intervene. Stones goes looking. Aimed long and direct. Buffon sends that a long way. Mendy cuts it out. Here it is, now has a pop! Awesome. Clever work on the flank. Yeah, they seem to be encouraging both foot. And there's the end of the first half. Well, what a comeback. Certainly, I didn't see that coming, nor I think did many in this crowd. So, we reached the halfway point. Well, give me a moment to get my breath back. Uh, what a super half of football. Incident pack, goals, comebacks, and the match being turned on its head. Which way it's going to go from here, it's anyone's guess. Barcelona leading by one in a finely poised game. It is intriguing to watch and could easily go either way. again Marco Asensio aimed long and direct Marco Asensio great leap he will be livid with himself oh look I don't want to sound too dismissive but from here that looks the harder thing to do 
Kyle Walker. Foden. And it's Gundogan. Now it's Fernandinho. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And that's going to be a booking. Gomez! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Well, a position to make that interception. Gets it upfield. Gundogan played out to the right. Time for a change in personnel. Now it's Sterling. Timely intervention. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And it's Fernandinho. He's got it, and he's got time. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. It's the through ball, Fernandinho. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Cleared without complication. Danilo. Plays it forward. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation. And it needs to be any time now, really. A promising ball he's left his man the final whistle Barcelona came saw and conquered and are big favorites now to advance well, what are your thoughts on today's game then Jim look this is a team that doesn't look as if it's daunted away from home they were organized and determined and they can surprise again if that standard is maintained
very warm welcome to you on uh, this most pleasantly clear evening. As you can see, we are getting through the uh, pre-match formalities and processes. The uh, players coming onto the field for the usual fanfare and handshakes and so on. Conditions absolutely perfect. Temperatures are kind enough. It is an absolute picture under the floodlights here. And the match that follows ought to follow suit. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. formation Jim Beglin well it's a formation Peter that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there a higher concentration backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams it can be used in cautious terms too but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you go for goal Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. Here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fill that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Well, it's 
it was pretty straightforward. They got themselves, themselves into a, a very good position. So why did they here when they, they could can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Barcelona ahead 2-0. They are looking good. It's... Yes! And the lead is extended still bit further. A truly a wonderful strike. Decorated with dip and curl. You know what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose your laces instead and delivered with a peach. This is becoming a stroll. Over to the left. And it's Sergio Garcia. He's gone away. Garcia. And out to safety. Big swan in it. Felipe Dino really got caught in the trap there. And he just couldn't get out there. Both sides, in fact. Well, you have to feel that the player that takes it off here. He's been made the scapegoat after that. But I guess it's not that kind of I suppose it did need a little bit of We're actually not getting a team tight, which is interesting. Can he score? And he's lifted it over. Barcelona are closing in on a comfortable win. 